Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So today I wanted to talk to you about getting a good tone and building presets. And hopefully this will be a way to kind of help guide you in that direction where you don't spend countless hours tweaking and worse than that, really getting frustrated, not getting the tone you, you want or the sound you're looking for. So that's what this video is going to be about. So I'm going to go through a few um, different kind of steps that uh, might help you with that. Um, so let's jump right into it. This video is in particular is dealing with Helix, but some of these uh, tips could apply to any anything that you're using, any modeling device or brand or anything like that. So let's just jump right into it. So again, with Helix number one, the thing I would recommend taking a look at, and I'll get the shameless plug out of the way first, the Line 6 Marketplace for Helix presets. Now, I do have some presets on the Marketplace. There will be a link in the description below um, if you want to check out what I have available. There's also a lot of other great preset builders on the Line 6 Marketplace. Now, they're not free. You do have to pay, um, but generally speaking, the presets are not very expensive, and the nice thing is they are, it's curated by Line 6, meaning they, they check the quality, they, they check that everything is going to work properly when you load it on your device. Um, it's just kind of a higher, higher level up from the free custom tone presets. Um, so the, kind of the advantage is you, you might pay a little money up front for a preset on the marketplace, but if it saves you hours of time finding the right sound, you know, what is your time worth? Um, and in addition to that, when you buy presets, if they're built well, you can look at that and learn. You can learn how to build your own presets from that. So that very well may be worth the price of buying a preset so you can understand the concepts behind how they were built and then take that further and make your own from there. So that's a couple reasons why I think it's worth taking a look at the marketplace when you do start on your journey to find sounds and tones that you're looking for. Now I mentioned custom tone and that would be probably point number two again staying with Line 6 branded products. Uh, Line 6 custom tone is a great resource. There are I'm sure thousands of, of presets available. I myself have quite a few presets on custom tone. Um, the downside to custom tone is just that anyone can upload. They are free but sometimes you spend a lot of time finding good presets and kind of wading through the presets to find the good ones from the bad ones. But again, it's free. So it is a good resource. I would just say, you know, just download the presets with a grain of salt, so to speak, um, just because it describes the tone you're going for. Don't automatically assume that it's going to be the tone you're going for. Though it may be. Like I said, there are some great presets on custom tone. You just kind of have to find the diamonds in the rough, so to speak. Um, another way that you can uh, help learn to, to build tones and build presets and find what you're looking for is watching YouTube videos such as the one you're watching right now. You can go back through my channel. I have a lot of uh, Helix related content in terms of how to build presets, concepts about building presets, how routing works, um, different how different effects works, effects routing, all that sort of stuff. Um, there are also some other really great channels. Um, of course, my friend Jason Sedites comes to mind. He has probably by far the largest catalog of, uh, of videos out there dialing in tones. He does also have presets available on the marketplace as well as custom tone. Uh, so I definitely recommend checking out his content. Um, another friend of mine, Steve Sterlachi, does some great Helix content. Um, he's geared a lot more towards the live use side of things because he is a professional touring musician. So a lot of great resources there. That's just a couple. There's just go on YouTube and search a lot of great content out there. So that's another great resource for, uh, kind of learning how to, how to build tones, learning how to find what you're looking for, kind of the nuts and bolts of, uh, of the mechanics of it. So another thing you can do is find out what makes great tones in you know real life so to speak with with physical gear and what i mean by that is go look on websites see like if you have if you're going for that Jimi hendrix sound or the uh, you know jimmy page led zeppelin sound go google it find out what they used odds are there is um either the exact model in helix or an equivalent in helix that you can pull up and at least get you in the ballpark and you can start start from there I remember there was a website, um, I think it was called Guitar Geek, where there was a lot of really great rig diagrams that they kept up there. Um, I looked for it right before starting this video. I think it's been pulled, but I found uh, an archive uh, where a lot of those, those diagrams are stored. So I will put that link in the description below. So check that out. That's a great resource. Another great resource, uh, Premier Guitar does rig rundown videos where they'll go out 
where you know guitars or guitarists are touring and and you know famous bands and such and they will talk to the artist or the guitar tech and they will go through the entire rig and it's really cool you get to see what they use again you can see what your favorite artist uses or an artist whose tone you like then you can go into helix and start to replicate that um i had great success doing this i had a show a little over a year ago where we played all songs by the cult so I just went and looked at rig rundowns um, for the cult and Billy Duffy, and, and it was great. It, it it kind of led me exactly down the path I needed to go to get the sound, get the tones and the sounds. So there's there's no reason to try to reinvent the wheel, you know. If, if I, and I'm a little too young to remember all of this, like, but if you think back in the '60s when Hendrix was coming around and when when you know Led Zeppelin was coming around and all these bands, you know, you really didn't know what they were using and because a lot of it was was especially with the Hendrix and the, the you know in the 60s that stuff was being invented as they went so um we're very fortunate now to live in a day and age where we have YouTube we have websites where we can see exactly what's what they used and we have amazing devices such as the Helix that has a lot of these uh, tools and components built in. So um, don't be afraid to use, uh, you know, the real life examples of what your favorite artist uses to, to start building your tones virtually in, in Helix or, or your device of choice. Um, and so, it, by the way, I mentioned this cult thing that I did. I'll put a link in the description below because I made a video about this and there are four free presets um, on custom tone that you will find talked about examples played and links to in, in that video. So again, look in the description below and you'll see a link to that video. Um, the last thing I wanted to mention is I recommend that people try to find their own sound. Um, it's cool to have a, a sound like your favorite artist, um, especially if you're in, in, let's say in a, in a, cover or a tribute band or if, if you're just playing at home and want to sound like you know the the album of your favorite artist that's really cool but i also suggest that people try to again find their own sound what sounds good to your ears if you you know your favorite artists at some point decided what they wanted to sound like or they kind of came across their sound and they decided this is what i like so i would just recommend you, you try that um you know if you've watched many of my videos you know that I'm very, very partial to the litigator amp model in Helix. There, there's just certain building blocks. I like the memory man style delays. I like, you know, kind of overdrive boost pedals like the Timmy, the Minotaur, the, the Tube Screamer. So I, I have some kind of go-to blocks that I know, I know I'm going to use compressors, reverbs that um, kind of help me shortcut. Over, over the years I've, I've spent doing this, I've found things that are kind of core components to what I like. So I would recommend, you know, spend a little bit of time and figure out, you know, what you like. Uh, find an amp model and some cabinet, either an IR or cab blocks that kind of gets you close in the ballpark of the sounds you're looking for. Because it is really easy to go down the rabbit hole. There are so many, even with Helix, there's so many amp models available. Other devices have hundreds. Um, and then you get into IRs and, and you're talking thousands of possibilities. So it's easy to kind of fall down this rabbit hole of tweaking and I've known people that have just sold all their digital gear and gone back to analog because they got frustrated. They weren't playing guitar. They were auditioning amp models. They were auditioning different IRs and, and you know, to a point that's fun. But in, at the end of the day, you know, I think I think our goal is to play music. So that's that's just a little bit of advice when building tones and presets is kind of learn what kind, you know, what sounds you like, what tones you like, what amp models and effects are going to get you in that ballpark. And when you have something specific that you need to do or a certain song and band you need to cover, build that, you know. Um, my philosophy when I do live gigs is primarily, unless there's a very specific uh, tone I need or effect that I need, um, I will pretty much use my sound. Um, I, I, I generally do a whole gig with one preset. Um, that's not... I'm not saying that's the right approach or the only approach. The, the beauty of these devices is you can do whatever you want to do, how whatever your workflow is. I'm just telling you what happens to work for me. And it saves me a lot of time when I go to learn songs. I don't spend hours, you know, auditioning different amp models and trying to, you know, I kind of have my core sound. Um, so I don't want to spend too much time talking about that. Just want to kind of offer that advice that, um, you, you know, you, it's fun. It's fun to tweak. And, and sometimes I'll just sit down with the sole purpose of, 
I'm going to grab a bunch of amps and effects I've never used and just see what comes out. And that's fun. And I'm not knocking that at all. I don't, I don't want to come across that way, but you know, at the end of the day, I think our, our goal is to play music, right. And have fun with music. So, um, in finding a tone and building a preset, I think it's valuable to have some kind of go-to, um, ideas for kind of typical sounds you like. And again, your sound, I keep, I want to stress that, like try to develop, you know, you try to develop a certain way you play. And so you want to kind of develop a certain tone of your own. Um, I know as a starting out as a guitar player, you know, my influence is uh, you, you really want to just learn those songs note for note and be able to sound exactly like your heroes. But you really you should come to a point where you want to start sounding like you. Those influences are in there. But same thing with tone. You know, I, some of my favorite artists, they have a very specific tone. I'm influenced by that, but I don't want to just sound you know, I don't want someone to come again and go, oh, yeah, he sounds like that guy or that, you know, I, I do want to kind of have my own thing. And I would just encourage you to, to look, you know, look down that path for yourself. Just just my two cents worth. But anyway, um, I hope this has been in some ways helpful um, it, and it, at the bare minimum interesting <laughs> to listen to. So thanks for sticking with me till the end here. You will see the links that I referenced in the description below. Um, please like, subscribe, comment, share. You, you know the drill. But uh, as always, thanks so much for checking out my videos and content, and we'll see you next time.